Hey guys, I'm Ayushi from Edureka and today I'm going to tell you the top 10 reasons to learn Java. Well, there are certain things in life which you hate or you may love to the core, but you certainly cannot ignore them. Now, one such thing is Java. So today I'm going to tell you why more than half of the programming globe loves Java. Now let us start from the 10th point as to why you should learn this language. So firstly on this list we have Java which is extremely easy and open source. Now we all know that it is important that a programming language should be easy to learn so that it is more convenient for everyone to just go ahead and use it. So what are the reasons that makes Java easy? So number one it is concurrent. Now the fact it is concurrent makes it easy to process your data parallelly and that's one of the major reasons. Then the other thing is it is platform independent. So you might have heard something called as Bora which means write once and run anywhere and Java totally supports this feature. So what does this exactly mean? So in Java once you have written your application you can run it across any device or any machine that supports a Java environment. Next it is open source. So why is a tool being open source so important? Now the fact it is open source is because it is available for anyone to use. Also your JDK or JRE is completely free. Now everyone out there wants to set up their website for free and since Java is free one can easily create Java applications at no cost. So Java is one of the most simple as well as the fundamental programming language that anyone can pick up and trust me guys Java is so simple at the same time the possibilities of what you can develop using Java is infinite. Now coming up next we have Java 9 new features. So the release of Java 9 and Java 9 features is a milestone in the Java ecosystem. So I have picked up a few new Java 9 features which I feel are worth knowing about. So now let's see what are these features. So the first one is the project jigsaw which basically helps you to achieve modularity. So the main aim of this project is to introduce the concept of modularity that is the support for creating modules in Java 9 and then apply the same to the JDK that is modularize the JDK. Next we have JShell scripting. So for those of you who are familiar with languages such as Ruby, Scala, Groovy and even Python, you must have heard REPL from before. Now it basically means read, eval, print loop. Now with Java 9, REPL tool has been introduced and it makes it quite easy to try out different features. So what it basically does, it helps you to write simple code and then test them up. So now if you have worked with Scala, you need to write down println and then hello world. But in Java, you need to define a class, then define a specifier, then go into the function, use the system.out.println command, and then only it will get executed. But with this JShell scripting, you can actually write your code in a single go and thereby making it quite easy. So let me just show you this with an example. So I'll just open my command prompt. Now, in order to get into it, you just need to type in JShell and you're inside it. So as you can see here, it is prompted with the current version of Java that is 9.0.4. Well, now you can do anything in it. Let's say I want to print 1 plus 2. So it's that simple guys. Now, even if you want to print a string, you don't have to type the system.out.println command. Instead of that, you can simply type in hello world. And here it is. So that's how JShell has made our life easy in order to implement anything. So now at number 8 we have Java Enterprise Edition and its rich API. Now the reason the API is quite popular is because it becomes very easy for a programmer to build an application as well as use different technologies without actually knowing their internal implementation. Now coming to Java API it has no issues with the compatibility and it handles a wide set of procedures and functions. Also you'll be impressed that there are over 4500 API available for developers. So the best place where I can show you the APIs are the Oracle documentation. So I'll just go to Google and type in Java API. So over here the first link that comes up is the official documentation of Oracle. So once you click this you'll get the complete list of API that are associated as part of Java 7 edition. Now to your left top you will see the various packages below are the various classes as well as the complete description and details of all the packages with respect to Java 7 edition. Now similarly you can change the URL to 8 and then you'll get the complete documentation of Java 8 as well. So here again you can see the packages the different classes and then you have something called as compact 1 compact 2 and compact 3 which is nothing but the different profiles. And similarly you can see the changes for Java version 9 as well. So I just have to change my URL to 9 
and here are the changes in the Java 9 version as well. Now Java also provides API for input output. Then we have networking, utilities, XML parsing, database connection, and almost everything, guys. Then at number seven, we have tons of resources and a wonderful community support. So Java as a programming language is omnipresent, which means it is present everywhere, starting from your phone to your setup box to satellites as well. So there is a huge job opportunity once you have completely grasped Java. Then you have its wonderful support community. So learning is not at all a problem with Java. You have numerous resources available online that can act as your perfect companion along with the support community. So you have multiple forums, then you have Stack Overflow where all your doubts or errors related to Java are answered. Now moving ahead at number six, we have Java applications. Well, as I said, Java is everywhere and it has ocean of opportunities. So now let me take you through some of the technologies which makes use of Java. So here I have selected six most influenced domains which uses Java. So don't just misunderstand guys that these are the only six domains which uses Java. Java is pretty much used everywhere. So first of all, it is used to develop web application. With the most popular frameworks such as Spring or Hibernate, Java is in highest demand. Now, even if you want to run any microservice, it uses Java as a programming language or any of its frameworks such as Spring or Spring Boot. Then it is used in Android app development. So we all are familiar with Android. So it's an operating system which is developed by Google. But how many of you actually know the Android applications as well as the Android operating system in itself make extensive use of Java? Then you have testing where you can test your web application using various automation testing tools. So to name some, we have Selenium, QTP, which is used to automate web applications and perform testing using Java. So Java is definitely a go to language for mobile devices. Then we have the most popular and trending technology that is the big data technology. So over here, you all must have heard about Hadoop, which is the most preferred framework. So Hadoop framework was extensively developed using Java and still makes use of its rich API. Also, the map reduce codes are written in Java. Next at number five, we have Java development tools. Now you have many powerful development tools in which you can do Java programming. So the most popular ones or the ones that are majorly used are NetBeans. Then we have IntelliJ and Eclipse. So these not only helps you in the code writing process, but it also offers a high level debugging to the programmers. Also, Java is majorly used in Android application development and hence Android Studio is a popular IDE which again accepts Java programming. Next at number four, we have Java, which is everywhere. So Java is all over the place. It's on desktop. It's on mobile. It's on car and in fact everywhere. So here I have listed down few departments where Java has been explicitly used. So let's start with banking. So here you can deal with the transactional management. Then you have retail. So whenever you go in a store or a restaurant, the billing applications that you see are completely written in Java. Then you have information technology or popularly called as IT. So here Java is designed to solve implementation dependencies and this is the domain guys that hires most of the Java developers. Then it is majorly used in stock market where you can simply write algorithms as to which company you should invest in. Also the applications in itself which is used in stock market are built using Java. Then you have many others such as financial services which is used in server side application. Then there is scientific and research community which again deals with huge amount of data. So it's not limited to just one domain. Also, if you do analysis, you will see that around 20% of the opening calls for Java skills either alone or in addition to any other programming language. Also, it has been used by many big giants such as Google, Philips, Accenture, Uber and many more. So you can be completely assured that Java is not going out of the market anytime soon. Next at number three, we have Oops language or Java being an object oriented programming language. So most popular programming languages like Java, C++, C Sharp, Ruby, they follow an object oriented programming paradigm. Now object oriented programming is a programming style which is associated with the concepts such as classes, object, inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation and polymorphism. So an object based application in Java is based on declaring classes, creating objects from them and then interacting between these objects. And hence Java being an object oriented programming, the concepts of Java are highly relatable and are much easier. 
then coming to the second point we have java which is portable and versatile so by portable i mean java can be used across various platforms and being an open source programming language it is platform independent across operating systems so as i've already told you guys is famous tagline that says write once and run anywhere so it helps you to achieve this functionality as well so what it means you can run your java byte code on any hardware that has a compliant jvm so you can simply write your code or create java application in a windows environment and then run on any other environment let's say linux operating system so everything is possible in java next it is versatile now java is said as one of the most versatile languages now why i'm saying this well we have many reasons for it now first of all it has dynamic coding so as i've already discussed all the codes are organized and they are stored in an object oriented format known as classes then it is highly secured So Java platform offers a secure environment where even the untrusted codes can be run and without causing any harm to your host environment. Then it can easily work with different resources across a network. So this is also what makes Java network concentric and a language that is not going out of the date any time soon. Next coming to last but not the least is the Java's popularity and high salary. So as you can see I have a Tiob programming index for all the present trending programming languages. So Tiob is a company that mainly deals with the code written by a lot of organizations. So what they do they basically cleanse and they improve the efficiency of code. So even if I have to give you a number they deal with about 500 billion lines of code every day. So what they have done they have conducted a survey based on the usage of the programming languages in the industry. So the keyword searches are taken from Google they were taken from Yahoo YouTube and then this index was generated. So this index is something which is released every year and you can see the popularity of all the programming languages. So here you can see how Java has dominated this field from the early 2000 to the present 2018. So this in itself should give you an idea of how popular Java is and how widely it has been used in the industry. Now apart from this Java developers are the ones who get the highest salary. So an average Java developer earns around 110k dollars in United States. So isn't this amazing guys? So you should definitely learn Java to kick start your IT career. So anyone with the passion to become a highly skilled Java professional can easily become one through a professional Java certification training. So get trained in Java and become the coolest professional in the IT field. Now if you're looking for online structure training in Java, you can let us know in the comment section and we will reply you back with the detailed course content. Now if you're investing in learning something be assured guys that this is something which is not going out of the date anytime soon. So it's totally worth the effort guys. So don't just learn it, master it with Edureka. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.